Terra Africa would like to thank you for the opportunity to present an overview about the effects of poorly managed land and how this can be transformed into a winning situation for all, man and nature. Africa is the mother of hundreds of millions. It is blessed with every conceivable resource. Our most valuable resource is land. The soil, water and all living creatures on the land. Since time immemorial, the foundation of life and growth. The majority of the African populace depends on it as the major source for their daily existence. By 2020, it is estimated that our population density will be 48 people per square kilometer and the growth rate of 2.4%. Used wisely, it is a major productive resource. It can render enough to feed its users. In this manner, it can keep on doing this year after year. Sadly, all around us we see land degradation. This poses a serious threat to all forms of life in Africa. Whichever way we look at this growing cancer, it is largely man-made. Everywhere we see siltation, gullies, loss of fertile soil, deforestation, overgrazing and abuse of chemical fertilizers. This contributes to loss in production capacity of lands and loss in biodiversity. This is having not only a tragic impact on human life now, but will also impact on future generations to come. Through insensible farming, over-tillage, over-grazing, planting crops on bare slopes and weak management procedures, economic gains are eroded. This is further amplified by droughts, floods, poor productivity in agriculture and natural services. Due to soil and nutrient loss in sub-Saharan Africa, over 3% of the agricultural GDP is lost annually. Land degradation and the resultant losses translate to increased food insecurity and poverty. Where we are now headed is not where we want to go. The problems we face today cannot be solved at the level of thinking that gave rise to them. For that, we need a U-turn in our educational and communications policies. Sustainable land management must become part of our mainstream agricultural thinking now. The crucial question is, how are we going to make our land our wealth and our future. With your help, we will influence policymakers on all levels with the help of media to understand the effects of poorly managed land, to communicate the urgency of the need to address this problem, to design and implement SLM policies, investments and programs that contribute to national and regional priorities. Efficient, country-driven, sustainable land management will have widespread benefits resulting in improved livelihoods. To achieve that, we will have to remove several problems hindering the scaling up of sustainable land management practices in sub-Saharan Africa. These include institutional and sectoral knowledge, agricultural policies, financial and implementation barriers. Our head office, from where driving forces will energize leadership to challenge obstacles and overcome adversity. To achieve sustainable land management, Terra Africa, with the help of its partners, has introduced three mutually reinforcing activities. Coalition building, bringing together government and civil society stakeholders. Knowledge management, developing and sharing applicable knowledge and investments. Dismantling the barrier of lack of knowledge will lead to new opportunities. Knowledge is the key to change perceptions and mindsets. 
sound, sustainable land management brings about higher yields, good vegetation cover, better soil composition, reduced loss in topsoil, better economic opportunities and a higher quality of life, human and nature. This overview will be broken down into modules addressing all these issues and will be produced in various media formats for maximum and effective use. This new way of thinking, sustainable land management, will lead to a new consciousness and a new conviction. Our land, our wealth, our future. And land in Africa is sacred. We love land because it is the source of livelihood for the people. On the continent of Africa, 60% of the people derive their livelihoods from the land. Therefore, we must ensure that we sustain the land. We must ensure that we sustain the ecosystem. And we must ensure that for the generations to come, land is kept in a manner which is going to sustain the population which is on the increase at the moment. So land, sustainable land management is key and is strategic for us. So what is the way forward? Sustain research, sustain soil health, sustain food security policies. Be the custodian of the future.